Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say that I am finally back. I know it's been a year, maybe two, maybe three. Guess where I was? Studying. Yeah. Studying. But there's a problem. People keep supporting me even though I haven't uploaded in over a year. So... <laughs> Thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Alright, but here's what you guys have been missing out on since the last time I saw y'all. But yeah, since then my fellow co-dev went off to college and I was also wrapping up with my senior year of high school, but we are ready to bring the show on the road. One thing I've always wanted to add was AI NPCs. Currently her game uses preset text. Now I know what you're thinking, how on earth do you do that? 1. Send an HTTP request. We send a GET request to an AI server. We get a response. 2. Find a way to let the player communicate. I think it's the most reasonable, but you know, voice chat can be iffy. 3. Convert AI response to the game. We can use text AI voice for them to respond with, or we can also have animations for them to do hand gestures with. 4. Filtering. Luckily for us, Roblox already has a service for that. Hippity hoppity, your code is now my property. <laughs> Thank you, Danny, for the reference. Very cool. Five, I'll put everything using all we've said. All right, let the show begin. <laughs> but wait, don't let the show begin yet, because the sponsor of today's video is me. Yeah, me. Please subscribe so I can make more content. Make sure to like, follow, comment. As we know, my coding is absolutely immaculate. So I decided to code it straight out of the gate. Three weeks later. So yeah guys, uh, I went on vacation for like three weeks and like I didn't do anything. Um, and I low-key kind of forgot how to code too. But don't worry, I'll, I'll be back on track very- <clears throat> Bro, what is my top leader doing? I don't even know who that guy was, but anyways, that guy does not sound cool at all. Anyways, like always, we gotta start with- Oh wait, wrong game engine. I mean, we have to start with an R15 Roblox character model. <laughs> As you can tell, I use a lot of Danny references, but I don't I don't even know where, where this guy went, but um, Daddy, please, please come back. So yeah, obviously I had to give my boy Jared a new NPC look, so I went into the catalog, got a bunch of different accessories, and I dressed my boy up. So he ready for the lady. Like any responsible game developer would, I programmed the best UI in town. Yes, you heard me right. So then I started programming. So when the player approaches the NPC, there would be a proximity prompt. When they click it, it shows a UI for them to type with. If they submit the UI, then it sends a connection over a remote event. That remote event then transfers to the server. The server validates the player, the target NPC, then it sends an HTTP request to an AI server. Wait, what server? So after a lot of begging ChatGPT, I finally found OpenRouter. OpenRouter is a platform that hosts AI models through HTTP requests or APIs. I landed on a free AI model called Quen3, so whoever made this, I absolutely love you. Alright guys, checkpoint number one. So I can be like, hey man, I'll send it. And yeah, he'll, he'll talk, and I'll be like, what's your name? and he'll talk back, right? But you might notice it's a little bit untrained. So we're gonna go ahead and start training the AI model now. Don't have that glass. Don't have 
yeah, uh, right here it connects from the backend of REPL.it to open router. And okay, so while this guy's yapping about the code, I want to introduce to you guys the Discord server. It has over 200 members, and there's a lot of people who've been supportive of us over the years. I want to shout out Funtime, No Hacks, 267, AA Batteries, 50 Swag, Saix, Banna, Zero, Zero, 2P Dio, and Scrabble. Join the Discord server if you want any new updates on the video game. Hey, were you even listening? I've come with yet another new update, but um, yeah, I added a thing where he just walks around the map like randomly, and yeah, you, if you talk to him, he'll stop, and then he'll look at you, and you know, you can run around him, he'll look at you, and you can talk to him, you can be like, hey man, what's up, what's good, right, he's like, not much, just looking at the shadows, you know, I, I made him really edgy, really made him really corny, but yeah, he's like a little AI NPC, I, th I think it's really cool, you know, uh, what do you know? about project agile tee -hee. right you'll think for a little bit and he's like project it's a mess cities divided factions that each other throw. and yeah that's that's pretty much the lore of the game yeah so i'm a little tired man give me some advice and i'm bop bada boom boom pow all right and then he lets go of his arms and now he can walk normally like a uh, like a like a perfect little little person it's 3 a.m now and i'm still editing did i learn anything not really how did i do it i don't even know and how did i even code it bro I don't when you guys got the chance please take a look at my new game bounce quest saga of lunara it's about to be released it's a side project that began with a friend a while back i'm gonna start posting on it on my tiktok so stay tuned bye